Hey everybody, Mike Wolford from the Dude's Kitchen and Grill and I just want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas. Today we're thinking way outside of the box. This would be perfect for that single guy out there going to a Christmas party, wants to just have something totally different. Uh, maybe even for a football game, whatever. We are making beer brats. Beer brats? What's that, Patrick? Beer brats, cuz. Really? For Christmas? Yeah, totally, dude. <laughs> now this I have to hear. It's simple, dude. I got the Santa coat on. It's perfect for those guys who don't want to slave around in the kitchen all damn day trying to make something just for a party, take to your in-laws, whatever, and just want to be outside the norm. So that's what it is. Oh, okay. I see it. Carry on, dude. All right, guys. This is super simple. First thing we want to do is make a white Russian. Already made it. White Russians go great with everything. Already got my grill started. But I'm going to turn the heat up. Mustard. Some tailgating buns. One onion. Beer brats and beer. Oh, and of course this. So, first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to get everything together. Minus the white Russian and the, the beer and brats mustard. We're going to get it all together for you. And then put it down on the round black stone or the Cuisinart 360. Let's start it. Now you know me, normally I just take an onion. It's already pre-cut, but I thought, what the hell? It's Christmas. I gotta look like I put a little effort into it, right? Cut that end off. I'm gonna cut it in half. Take the skin off. See, I put some effort into this meal. And I want some nice size cuts on this. And I don't want some wimp ass onion. I want man size onions. Whew, I'm working up a sweat here in the Santa costume. This is crazy, guys. I'm telling you, I'm putting a lot of effort into this one. Whew, man, I'm tired. I might have to take a break. Well, let's get these all mixed up first. It looks about perfect. Recipe calls for four beers. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get four beers into this, but you know, if I have a little extra, big deal. Now it's snowing out here too. Can you hear it? Nice. Liking that. Well, I'm going to go with three beers. I'm just going to take my beer brats here, slice them open, peel them back, dump like that. I'm going to take the onions and beer and beer brats, put them onto the 360. Just like that, we're going to, oh, it's kind of warm too. Whew. We're going to let these things boil, come up to a boil and then boil for about 10 minutes and then take the, the brats off. We'll see at that point. These have been on for a total of, well, I'd say 30 minutes but only 10 minutes boiling because it did take a little bit of time for the beer to come up to speed. So at this point, I'm just gonna put these off to the side. Give them a little brown. Not a heck of a lot. Because for the most part they're done, but I mean, look at that. That's gonna be perfect. Wow, looks amazing. I think it's time to take these things off and let's plate it and eat it. It really has become a winter wonderland out here. 
to make two of these, although I'm going to take the other three off. Just put them off to the side for now. Take some of our onion, lay it over the top like that. Damn, that looks good. Take some of our beer and broths mustard. Lay it over thick. Cap them. There you go. Look at that. That's what I'm talking about right there. You could add sauerkraut to this or, you know, we did a, a Chicago dog recipe recently. You could put Chicago style relish on it. Sports peppers if you wanted. I mean, sky's the limit. Let's give this a shot. Mm. A little bit of mustard on my ham. You know, the mustard does give it a little bit of a spice to really get that beer in there. And the flavor of the brats, the onions. Oh my goodness, it just comes together. You see behind me? 30 minutes, bit of a winter wonderland. Another bite. Mmm. With the right Russian. Perfect, guys. Perfect for that single guy going to a Christmas party or hanging out with your parents or just hanging out at home. Parties, you know, like football, whatever. These things are the bomb. Damn. So good. Man, it was so hard to put together. Mm. Love that mustard. All right, guys, the recipe's down below. Please remember to like, subscribe, comment, ring that bell for notifications, share. Remember to check out my cousin Patrick over at Patty Joe Cooking. I'll put a link below. Great guy. Thank you very much, Patrick, for doing the, the opening. Happy birthday to you as well, my friend. Remember the dude abides this time with brats for Christmas. Merry Christmas everybody. Talk to you soon.